He don't have any clue. I'm about to bring a world of hurt on him. He's gonna put on a show. He is tearing it up over here, cutting. This squirrel come hard charging me. What about the old 22 pistol? I shot that one out of self-defense. Well, it's 6.51 on a Sunday morning here pushing towards the mid part of September already. Man, is the year flying by. I'm going to get after some squirrels this morning. I'm going to hunt some bushy tails. I was going to do a coyote stand, but I need to get some more squirrels. We're going to have a big squirrel supper. I'm partnering up with my old redneck buddy, Dave, this morning. He's supposed to be up. Last time I showed up, he wasn't out of bed, but... If not, I'll roll on without him up. My limit here in Indiana is five squirrels a day, so I'm gonna try to get five this morning and hopefully get some good video. But it's getting ready to crack daylight here shortly. Oh, I'm gonna get out, see what I can't do to bring y'all some squirrel action this morning. Why don't you look here, sitting here waiting on me this morning. Why, well, certainly. <laughs> People can't get slow all day. I tell you what, I seen, uh, looked at the forecast, it's showing 10 mile an hour wind later, hopefully. Hopefully we can get some down before that happens. Oh yeah. There's nothing else that'll blow them out of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading to a hickory grove this morning. The spot he was telling me about. I didn't find it last time. There the trail that was supposed to be leading to it was growed up. He come back here and kind of knocked it down with a razor. Here's the trail I'll show you. Ain't much of a trail, but here's the grove. All right, I just got through this big thick mess. A field right here. Getting ready to walk in the woods. Should be a pretty good morning. a little bit of a breeze back here this morning. I don't much care for that when I squirrel hunt. The stiller the better. Hopefully I don't pick up much more than this anytime soon. If I stir early enough this morning, maybe I can get my limit and get out of here before it gets windy. It's been about 10 minutes. We got some action up here. I'm gonna put the stalk on. I see one right up here. Here we go. Time to clock in. That's number one down. It's amazing to me these suckers can take a number four shot from a 410. I did not see that squirrel fall in the camera and I didn't hear it fall, but they're so small. I bared down on him good. I couldn't see very much of I him. Mean, it might've looked better in the camera than what I could see. But I'm gonna go up there and see if it's laying over there by the tree. I had to have hit it. You know what? I think he fell out instantly. think he fell out instantly I just didn't see it gray squirrel number one off to a pretty good start pretty gray squirrel look how pretty he is I got more on the move I'll throw this dude in my pocket Go on to the next one. We've got another one right over here. First one down. Ain't this fun? Man, early season. Let's get on this next one. 
I got two up here in the same tree. I could kill, I could shoot right now, but I don't have the camera light. I'm gonna try to milk this out. Hopefully they keep jumping around like crazy, staying in this tree. I get enough camera light here pretty soon, I'm gonna pour the coal to it. Lord have mercy. They are running around like ping pong balls. Always make a good visual when you shoot one, but when there's multiple running around, it's hard to take that split second memory shot so you know where that one fell. I think it fell right there somewhere. Unless they're belly up, man, they're hard to find. second one of the morning this one's got a like a brownish belly to him look at that big old big old male pretty he's pretty colored pretty colored hard to find man alive was he hard to find but he was partially belly up but that color just blends in real good number two for the morning Look at the difference in the color of the belly. Isn't that something? All right, let's keep going. I can't get the camera on them to save my life. They just won't hardly sit still. That'll be the th second or third GoPro kill of the morning, I guess. Man, I hope it's picking them up. It is flat out raining squirrels. I'll go over here and pick this one up. I'm not sure if it was gray or not. I think it was. There he is. Hard charger, man. Another white bellied one, female. Pocket video, bud. Just yanked that one's tail off. Three bushy tails in the pants pocket, it ain't too shabby. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't button that up in case one of them comes back to life. Let's go get number four. When I'm out here doing these squirrel hunts like this and just flat burning them up, Jack. And even when the action's not so good, I like to step back and just look around and enjoy God's creation. I want y'all to take a little walk with me.
I got another one cutting right above me here. He don't have any clue. I'm about to bring a world of hurt on him. I'm gonna sneak around here, see if I can't get him on a big camera. Don't you look where they've been cutting? They are flat, just demolishing it through here. Everywhere. Now the white bellied one. Female. One thing that's kind of comical with if you take a coyote hunt or squirrel hunt, you're gonna check the sex every time. <laughs> Little female down here. Another white bellied one. I ain't, you know what? I was sitting here thinking, I ain't heard, I ain't heard Dave shoot one time. I guess I'm in the honey hole this morning. It's number four. This is where he told me to go. I tell you what, flight out loaded with him. I did, if I had to. A steady camera guy and good communication. I could have had 15 probably. That's all right. I'm having a blast. Hey, I hope y'all are too. We're getting a mess together, and what we're going to do is we're going to take in. There's another deck on squirrel. What we're going to do is we're going to take and uh, make a big supper out of it. Here comes another one. There's another one right up here. I'm going to try to go up here and get this one. It'll probably be a gray too. They're just everywhere. Once you shoot, Three or four minutes later, they're back to cutting again. I literally ain't made it out of this little corner right here. I come in this little corner of this hickory grove. I ain't left, honey. I got four in the poke. Kind of thinking about moving on down just to explore new ground, but there's one running right there. Man, what a beautiful morning. Thank you, Lord. Awesome. I'm running out of room in my pocket. There's another one right up here. I'm going to try to go up here and get this one. They'll probably be a gray, too. <laughs> Who don't love a little 22 or 22 pistol action? Look at here. All right. I want you to look. I chased this squirrel all the way up that fence row right there, and it turned out to be just an epic deal. What about the old 22 pistol? No red dot. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't 25 feet, but just hard to see. Man, there's Dave right there. I see Dave right across the pond. What an epic deal! What a way to finish out my limit, number five, with the old 22. Awesome. There's Dave right over here across the creek, across the pond. I'm gonna have to put him in the right pocket over here. Start a new stack. My last stack, that's number five for me. I'm gonna go over here and join up with Dave and see if I can't get him going. Guys, we are wrapping it up. We're gonna hunt our way out, but 
got kind of a bad problem this morning. I'm about to lose my britches. <laughs> I got squirrels in both of my side pockets. My belt's drawn up tight as it can get. But my pants are hanging way down, honey. We're gonna make our way to the truck and I'm gonna skin these squirrels out. Head on to the house, get some breakfast. It's been a good day. Old buddy Dave with me. But boys, we're gonna slide out and get after them again next time. Somebody asked me about cooking these up. We're trying to get a mess together first. If y'all have not watched the first video we released, be sure and check it out, camping video. We're going to keep piling them up and we'll have a big mess of squirrels and hopefully some gravy sometime. Stay tuned and uh, we'll definitely see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>